we're fortunate to be joined now by the multi-talented and Logie Award winning David Rain. David, thank you for coming on the show. A pleasure, gentlemen. Good evening. You were a founding member, of course, of the Australian Crawl. That's right. Seminal yes. rock band. But as a founding member, was it tricky coming up with the name Australian Crawl? There's um. breaststroke, doggy paddle. <laughs> I mean, there's so many options you would have worked through. <laughs> now, after you quit the band, uh, they went on to become the biggest band in Australia. Pretty much. Were yeah. you holding them back? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> now, let's talk about your acting career. Is it true that you played a dead body on the Sullivans <laughs> yeah. and f not very well. No, no. Where'd you find that? <laughs> I remember, again, I was at film school and, you know, to get yourselves through, you'd do whatever you could to, you know, you'd try and get ingratiate yourself with people in the business. And so I became an extra on the Sullivans. And there was this one day when we were filming and it was a kind of war scene and I was a dead body and I was front <laughs> and centre. I must have I must have looked good dead because I got <laughs> right front and centre at a low camera angle. There I was, the action taking place behind. Yeah. And we'd done all the rehearsals and everything was good to go. And then they said, right, let's go for the take. And everyone's set and you know, they're going for the take and the as assistant director comes over to me and he squats down on one knee and he said, right, mate, this time, could you close the eyes? <laughs> I thought I was doing a really good dead body with the eyes open. <laughs> but you, you also worked with, um, in, a, in a film with Nicole Kidman, is that right? I did. Was it Eyes Wide Shut? <laughs> 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 the character that you played in Sweet and Sour had a reputation or had a bit of a, uh, I guess, an image of being a Lothario. And <laughs> for those who aren't familiar, I guess a Lothario is what, an unscrupulous seducer of women? Correct. <laughs> then in The Flying Doctors, you also play a doctor who's a uh, Lothario. <laughs> and now you work for Smooth FM. I'm the late night Lothario. <laughs> what does this say about David Rain? You know, I've never thought about that. Thanks for pointing that out. You're welcome. I did spend many years pouring drinks at a nightclub. Maybe that's got something to do with it. <laughs> what I noticed about that show Getaway, though, is that you could have been, well, someone could have been filing a story from, say, the Antarctic and they would still find a way of putting Katrina Roundtree in a bikini. <laughs> well, some people became known for uh, being the best in certain circumstances and Katrina was <laughs> terrific on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> on quitting David and Kim, because uh, I, I heard that you actually said that you only really enjoyed about 40% of the show. Was yeah. that the infomercials? <laughs> <laughs> well, they were the bits that used to drive me quite crazy. There was one segment, there was one day when I knew I couldn't do this anymore when we did a segment called How to Choose the Best Vase for Your Mother's Day Flowers. Oh. And that was the end of me. <laughs> from, then on, from then on, I started having out-of-body out of experiences. Quite literally, I would find myself floating above the set looking down at myself going, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> looking back over this multi-talented career from being a an award-winning actor and a songwriter, musician, uh, presenter, now radio announcer. If you could only pick one thing, what would it be? Landscape gardening. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Lothario. Oh, well, no, I'm already there. <laughs> David Rain, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you, gentlemen.